Though Senator Josh Hawley's challenge will have no bearing on the ultimate outcome of the election, it will delay the certification of President-elect Joe Biden's victory. Greg Nash Pool via Appsen. Josh Hawley on Wednesday pledged to challenge President-elect Joe Biden's victory in Pennsylvania and possibly other states on January 6, when Congress is set to certify the results of the 2020 election. The Missouri Republicans' announcement guarantees that both chambers will be forced to debate the results of at least one state and vote on whether to accept Biden's victory, a process that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had urged Republicans to avoid, despite pressure from President Donald Trump, who is urging Republicans to overturn the Democratic results. Though Hawley's challenge will have no bearing on the ultimate outcome of the election, numerous GOP senators have accepted Biden as president-elect. It will delay the certification of Biden's victory and force every member of the House and Senate on the record affirming Biden's win. Prior to Hawley's pronouncement, all eyes had been on Sen-elect Tommy Tuberville R. Alla, who had signaled his willingness to support a challenge to Biden's victory. Trump had praised Tuberville and blasted other Republicans as weak, threatening to end the political career of Senator John Thune R.S. D., who told reporters that any challenges were doomed to defeat. The traditional rules of the January 6 session, a joint meeting of the House and Senate, require a single House member and Senator to join together to lodge a challenge. If they do, the branches are required to separate and debate the challenge before resuming the joint session. Dozens of House Republicans have already pledged to challenge the results but had yet to secure unequivocal support from a Senator. Only one elected Republican, Rep. Adam Kinzinger of Illinois, who has become a prominent critic of Trump's effort to flip the election results, openly criticized Hawley's plan. In a mock, internal monologue, for Hawley, Kinzinger imagined the senator saying, I want to be president so I decided to try to get POTUS tweets saying I'm great even though I know this isn't going anywhere, but hey, I'll blame someone else when it fails. House Republicans who had already pledged to contest the results celebrated Hawley's announcement, declaring it proof of a contested election, even though there's no evidence of fraud or misconduct that influenced the results in any state. The rules that govern those challenges